Were there any words in the chapter that you did not know? Let's look at some vocabulary that I chose. Antipathies or antipathy. It's a feeling of intense dislike. I have the text here that shows where it was included. Curtsy or curtsying. A curtsy is a traditional gesture of greeting, bending the knees while bowing the head. Remember she was trying to curtsy in the air? It said, please ma'am, in this New Zealand or Australia? And she tried to curtsy as she spoke. Fancy curtsying as you falling through the air. Remember, like she's trying to like bow and bow her head and cross her legs as she's falling down the tunnel. Another one I had was earnest or earnestly. It means in a serious manner. She felt that she was dozing off and had just begun to dream that she was walking hand in hand with Dinah and saying to her very earnestly, Now Dinah, tell me the truth. Did you ever eat a bat? So it means very seriously she was asking Dinah, Did you ever eat a bat? Then we have alas. It's by bad luck. It's another way of saying unfortunately. Suddenly she came upon a little three-legged table all made of solid glass. There was nothing on it except a tiny golden key and Alice's first thought was that it might belong to one of the doors of the hall. But alas, either the locks were too large or the key was too small. So just think of, oh, unfortunately, the locks were too large, the key was too small. It just didn't work. And then another example was a little farther down. It said, after a while finding that nothing more happened, she decided on going into the garden at once. But alas, for poor Alice, when she got to the door, she found she had forgotten the little golden key. Unfortunately, she forgot the key. And remember then she was too little to reach it off the top of the table? And croquet. Croquet, a game in which players using mallets drive wooden balls through a series of hoops, and they're usually not played by oneself. The text said, for having cheated herself in a game of croquet, she was playing against herself because she pretended to be two people sometimes. Who else here has played croquet before? Let's ask some questions. Do you remember the jar that Alice took off the shelf? What did it say on it? I'm gonna let you look here at the text and you can either write down or just think in your head or even reply in the comments. You know, if you wanna share discussions on the answers and we can have like a little book study. It says, she took down a jar from one of the shelves as she passed. It was labeled orange marmalade, but to her great disappointment, it was empty. Alice talked about her cat. What was the cat's name? Anybody remember? Here's the text if you want to look back. Down, 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 there was nothing else to do, so Alice soon began talking again. Dinah will miss me very much tonight, I should think. Dinah was the cat. How many legs did the table have? What did Alice find on the table? Using inference, what do you think the text is telling you? Look at the text and make an inference about what the key will open. What will the key open, you guys? What did the bottle say on it? And I didn't include this, but who remembers what the cake said? What did Alice say to mean that she was shrinking? I want you to find this in the text, text proof. What a curious feeling, said Alice. I must be shutting up like a telescope. And so it was indeed. She was now only 10 inches high. Shutting up like a telescope. Telescopes extend to be really long. And when you shut it up, it shrinks it down. Which type of figurative language does this line contain? You have, remember, the figurative language is simile, metaphor, personification, onomatopoeia, oxymoron, hyperbole, hyperbole <laughs> illusion, and idiom. What type does this use? I must be shutting up like a telescope. Do you know? Explain your answer. Now, I'm going to also include some questions and items that you can write on, like maybe have a little journal going for this book. That would be fun. And then um, you can write the questions. You can pause whenever you need to to write. You can answer them in your head. Maybe you can share your answers in the discussion. But first, let's give this chapter a new title. 
Second, I want you to draw a picture of Alice. And then I want you to find text evidence that gives a physical description. Hint, there is not many physical descriptions of Alice in chapter one. Number three, which genre best fits this story and why? What in this story makes the genre you chose? Which point of view is this chapter told? Number five, list at least one time the author used repetition. Why do you think the author used repetition in your example? You can list more than one if you'd like. There are several. Number six, give a one sentence summary of this chapter. Describe what happens. Number seven, would you have jumped down the rabbit hole? Would you have? Why would you have jumped down the rabbit hole? Or why wouldn't you have? That's a little bit of creative writing. See if you can write three to five sentences on that. Make a little story, even draw a picture. Number eight, Alice describes what the bottle that says drink me tastes like. Remember she named off like six things. It was like turkey and buttery toast, all kinds of stuff. Name three flavors that are your favorite. Number nine, let's look at Alice's character traits. Name three adjectives that describe Alice. I'll name one and don't count that as part of your three. I'll name playful. You name three more. All right, well, thank you for joining me with this read aloud of chapter one of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland written by Lewis Carroll. Please subscribe so you will be notified when I put out um, the read aloud of chapter two and I'll try to get study items to go with each chapter. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really think it would be fun to have some comments that um, really get into some discussions of this chapter, what you liked about it, what you're excited to maybe see in the next chapter, what, you know, just let's get really creative with it and um, enjoy this story. Thank you.